Hi, I'm Jake, and today we're here to talk about how the recent FAQ affects Death Guard. Quite a lot of changes in this recent FAQ, um, and timing is awesome, by the way, because there are, especially mainly in the rare rules section of things, there's been some rules to come up from time to time, especially in competitive games, where, of course, the nuances to a relatively new game system or new edition, i.e. ninth edition, just need to be clarified. So, awesome, let's jump into it. So this video is going to be specifically on what the rules affected or how the rules affected Death Guard specifically, for all you Death Guard players out there like myself. And I'm going to address these from the least exciting to the most exciting to me. So first off, we've got Typhus, which can be taken in any detachment. However, he's only going to be able to take a Contagion ability if he's part of the Harbingers. Fair. Next, we have some minor changes to the Forge World Armor Compendium, which what that means is if you fancy Forge World models and Forge World units, the Greater Blight Drones now have Nurgle's Contagions, as well as the Dread Claws of things. So if you fancy a transport, drop it, charge, do your thing. Um, yeah, that's back, basically. And praise be to Nurgle, inexorable advance operates how it should be. So originally when the Codex first came out in early 2021, yeah, everybody interpreted the rules as it now currently is. So there wasn't necessarily a change to inexorable, uh, inexorable advance, but there was a change to how difficult ground reads in the core rule book. So Death Guard units with inexorable advance will no longer suffer penalty for moving through craters or forests or basically anything else or other terrain features with the difficult ground rules. Now, also what remains is, of course, not being able to be modified movement uh, from any sort of enemy units casting spells, auras, buffs, debuffs, whatever they might be. So that all stays the same. But now it has been clarified that, yes, Death Guard units with an exorable advance do not suffer penalty for moving through difficult ground. Now, what's really, really spicy is the change to the if your army is ruled. It's basically a big chunk of text right here, and you have to dig into it a little bit to completely understand how it's going to affect Death Guard specifically, and that is in summoning, in the summoning aspect. So they completely removed the summoning, and I'm not entirely sure if this was intentional or not for the rule to be used in this manner, but basically since the Chaos Demons 8th edition codex still exists, that allows Chaos characters uh, to summon a, or to attempt to summon a demon model from the same god that they worship uh, in their movement phase. So now, because of this new rule or this rule clarification, any unit that you summon in or bring in doesn't break your Nurgle's Contagion. It's amazing. So what I'm going to see a lot of here, and so basically just if you're not caught up on that, how it works is instead of moving in your movement phase for your Chaos character, you can attempt to summon a demon and you roll 3d6, more if you have buffs and stuff, uh, 3d6, and you have to exceed the power uh, rating level of the demon unit that you were trying to summon. So for instance, we've got Nurglings, Poxbringers, and Epidemius. I think those three are going to see the most play. Maybe even some, I, I don't know, anything, anything above having to roll a 10 or even a 9 on 3d6 is relatively sketchy and... Not really recommended for competitive play, but basically anything like 7 and below, that's great. Of course, it works just the same way where you have to keep strategic reserve, or sorry, summoning points. So you have to keep a, a relative amount of points open. Epidemius, for example, is going to be 105 points that you need to carve out of your list. And hopefully you don't roll low enough to let that go to waste. But it should be relatively, relatively reliable in to, for you to pull off in turn 1. How is this going to look for Chaos Demons interacting with Death Guard? I can see Epidemius really making a comeback, as well as, like I mentioned, the Pox Bringer to buff Demon Engines. Um, now this also opens up an opportunity for Possessed to maybe nudge to a more optimal setup based on like how you're building your list. Um, but as it is right now, it's a really hard decision to make having to swap out or having to include Possessed over Blight or Terminators or Death Rattle Terminators, just points for points wise. But this really might force that decision a lot more if you are running a demon engine and demon keyword centric list uh, to include your summoning. Because as you well know, 
Epidemius's Tally, that was amazing. I rocked that pretty much all throughout 8th edition um, in conjunction with Plague Bearers, Pox Bringer. It was fun. But now this is all viable, and I think this is what we're going to expect to see. How competitive it is, only time will tell. Well, that's it for today, folks. If you happen to find this video informative or enjoyable by any measure, uh, please be sure to stay subscribed and join in on the conversation in the comments below. Till next time, peace. Yeah.